All right, this week we're going to add a welcome announcement and a uh, orientation to your template course. So we thought we'd let you take a look at uh, how we did it in the OHCC. Uh, you may remember this welcome announcement here. Uh, we'll just try to keep it short, use bullets so students can get the major ideas. Uh, you, basically, you want to give them just enough information to get started, important dates, and then point them to the orientation. And the way we do that is I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Mode On here. And I'm going to edit this announcement so you can see it. But what you want to do at the bottom of your welcome announcement is go down to here to where it says Course Link, Browse, and then find your orientation folder under Assignments and click on that and then click Submit. And then you have your um, link that will take students directly into the orientation. All right, so how did we do the orientation? We've kind of showed you how to create a week's worth of content. Uh, in this case, we uh, used uh, an item here and just kind of some information for students, um, in this case, to kind of alleviate concerns. And this is actually, uh, if I edit it, you'll see there's a, an image here. And this image is actually from Flickr. And if you go to Flickr as a photo tool, you can actually search it and, in this case, click More Options and find Creative Commons content that's available for use without getting um, copyright clearance. So I just went looking for pictures that might show somebody in the dark or nervous and came up with that. So I didn't do that myself. And then the next one is a uh, YouTube mashup tool. And basically it is a web link that we created and we created this link to it and then we added the mashup tool uh, and linked you to the OHC orientation video. Now notice that the uh, OHCC orientation video is captioned. So um, you're going to make sure that any video you have in your, in your course, um, including this orientation, is captioned. And then this is a, just a course link to the syllabus. So basically what we're doing is guiding uh, the user through the information we need in terms of course policies and expectations. So um, that, again, is build content, course link. And when you click on it, it actually takes you to the syllabus area that's over here. And then notice at the bottom of it, we actually added a um, course link to take you back to the orientation. And this is an external link uh, to a readiness site that opens in a new window. And that's the default. A, a web link to the um, online learning uh, site and then this last one is a link to the um, discussion board. The only really new tool here is this um, blog and there's a couple ways you can do that. You can create the blog first and then course link to it or uh, in this case you could just go to tools blogs and either link to that existing blog or uh, right from here you can create uh, a new blog. So you just go ahead and give it a title and we call ours introductions, some initial instructions to them, what to do. Uh, by default it's available. You want to switch this to say uh, course level blog so every student will see each other's posts. I don't allow anonymous entries or comments in there and then uh, keep it at a monthly index. I typically don't grade the um, introductory blog post but the advantage of doing the introductions in the blog is that you can go back easily and and see them. Uh, maybe encourage uh, students to post a picture or some information about them. You know, pretty much this is you know an icebreaker activity. I'll go back into the orientation folder here that you would see in any classroom and it's, it's a good way to do an icebreaker for your online course.